What is up, JL Life Modo here. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the J10. More specifically, changing out the headlights because one of them don't work. Y'all stay tuned. Ah! I'm just assuming maybe I just have a bulb out. Nothing too crazy or too difficult to switch, but we're gonna be switching out the headlights to some LEDs. I don't care much for incandescent. This ain't 1974. It's obsolete technology. It makes seeing on the road an absolute pain in the butt. It makes seeing off-roading impossible. So we're gonna be putting some LEDs in. I know someone's gonna be sitting there saying, why are you putting LEDs in? Do you really need to see up a June bug's ass from 500 meters away while you're cruising down a summer night? Well, yes, yes I do. Here's what I'm gonna be swapping in these are ox beam headlights they have venting caps in case moisture gets underneath these should actually be plug and play to what i already have underneath the jeep of course it is a seven inch headlight so all this should just be a straight swap over and one of the nice things about this it has led turn signals and if someone's going to be getting upset because i went with ox beams for headlights well, I'm really not looking to dump a lot of money into parts that don't require it. This is not my daily driver. Yes, I understand that I'm probably gonna be blinding people with this. However, I don't intend on driving this on road very often. This is more for something for off-roading and occasionally just to kind of drive around town. So, but in the event I do need lights, I will have it and we'll work on adjusting the lights later on down the road. I'm not sinking a bunch of money into headlights. First things first, need to shut off the lights. First thing we need to do is take out, that one's already loose. The bolt's holding the ring in. There we go, don't lose it. Ah. Nice. The ring pops off. Unplug it from the back. Well, crap. The camera was in the way. So it should be just simple plug and play. The factory ring should fit right over top of it. It do. It isn't fitting as much as I'd like. I'm gonna to have to do some trimming to get it to fit. So. Cut it out and take this out. Grind this out some. So we have some slight fitment issues. Doesn't quite fit. I'm gonna to have to do some trimming to the original mounting housing. I marked it with a marker. I'm gonna start by cutting the spot for the plug. Having the right tool for the job always makes things easier. Sometimes it's funner to use the wrong tool. What tool am I going to use, you ask? We're plasma cutting this bitch. Overkill, Mo. Yeah, I, I know. I know. If you haven't played with a plasma cutter before, goddamn, they're fun. I 100% do not recommend this. You see how much quicker things go? Power tools. I'm gonna need to make it a little bit wider.
that ain't the funnest sort of play of time. I don't know. So now that I got my shape cut out, I'm just going to take the Dremel and just kind of smooth out all the edges. That much better of a fit. I'm actually going to cut down on this a little bit more. I don't like how tight it is on the wire. All this cut is perfect. And I started looking the sides and there's still a little bit of a gap. So I was looking closer. I saw those little tabs. And I was thinking, oh, I'll just cut out a little bit. Now the tab don't want to. I would prefer to avoid chopping into the fundamentals of this piece. And as I kept going around, I started seeing cutouts for it already. Son of a bitch. All right, well, I'm going to go make this hole a lot bigger. Shoot. Fixed it. Unfortunately, I had to do a little bit more cutting than I needed to. Obviously, I could have not cut this hole, this hole. It's a wide up there, but it is flush. Scratched my lens. That's because of plastic. All right, let's get this back into the Jeep. So now I'll be able to get my retainer ring on there. And it all lines up smooth. Let's go and plug this in and figure out which one's for the turn signal, which one's for the running light. Unfortunately, I don't know where the turn signal is at yet because it doesn't have a functioning tail light. Here's another thing I need to take care of. It's the old antenna hole. This is very unsightly. Let's see what we can fit in there. Too small. This one. Hell yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that, that looks, looks good. Let's go ahead and compare the two real quick. See, it's quite a big difference. However, something got some wiring issues I'm gonna to have to figure out because the turn signal isn't working. Hmm. But let me knock out the other side real quick and I'll show you what it looks like up front. So, like I said, my turn signal isn't working, but the lights are in. be able to see much better when I'm out willing at night and yes I can switch these around from there you go I can switch these around from a white light to the amber light of course I want the amber to be the turn signal but since I can't get the turn signal to work right now I have the amber as running light and it matches this there it is some things just to note of with these Headlights, they are cheaper headlights, and the lenses scratch really easily. I don't know if you can see any of it, but it's just covered in little scratches because I set it down. And if you're looking for this to be a purist build, well, you're in the wrong place. This is going to be, it's going to be a crawler, a crawler slash work truck, so I, I, I want some modernness to it. I'm so proud of my grommet. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this build update for the J10. Build update. They're headlights. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for more. We got plenty coming for the J10. And if you guys have any suggestions on why my turn signals ain't working, I'd appreciate it if, yeah, threw me some help so I don't have to go tracing it down. Y'all, keep it easy. Ah.